You're like, da, 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 da. yeah, we here. <laughs> can you? I, I can hear you good now. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but technology at its best, I guess. That was weird. I was like, hello, hello. <laughs> and then I was like going through the whole thing. Hi, yes, I'm sure to know. Like nobody knows what I'm saying. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous though. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the funny thing. When you said that, I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's I know crazy. that feeling, though. That I know that feeling because every time when I would go on national TV, I would, oh my goodness, I would have like these crazy butterflies, right? But then once I get started in this lights, camera, action, it's like, oh, okay, I'm cool. I'm in my element. Yeah, I'm yeah, that happens. I'm in my zone. I was it talking about me all the time. Zone. Yeah, <laughs> I'm on my level. Like, I'm good. But yeah, that's before. And I still do it now. Like, I, instead of like saying I'm, you know, nervous, I just say I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. And it switches yeah. the whole way of how your brain is like, what are you talking about? You excited? Because now you just switch the whole narrative. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's there, it's there to protect us. But yeah, we makes sense. are the masters of it. You know what I mean? We're the masters of our mind. So we tell it, do we give it the instructions? So it's like, right. no, hey, I'm excited because this is an right. opportunity. This is an amazing opportunity. To be, oh my God, look at that. Thank you guys. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys to be here with us. I am now having a conversation and interviewing a celebrity podcast host. How hilarious is that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. Okay, let's get into it. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know it's such a broad uh, question, Ooh, but man. like, where are you from? Um, I'm born and raised in Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I still live in Las, in Las Vegas, Vegas right Vegas? now. Yeah, I'm a native. We're we're rare. That's what they call us. We're rare. <laughs> But no, yeah, was, but you see how I moved up because I'm like, I never met anyone actually from there. I, you know, <laughs> I've been there uh, several times and I've never yeah. met anyone from there. Just so I'm like, what? You're like born and raised from there? Born Tell and me raised. about that experience. I mean, it's it's just like any other city. It's born, or, you know, uh -huh. besides the, I mean, there's no country. So it's it's constant fast life. You know, it's it's a city. I'm a city boy, y'all. I'm a city boy. <laughs> But wow. it, it's, I mean, it, it's fun, you know, I had friends, I wasn't really big on casinos and stuff like that. And there's more <laughs> to Las Vegas than just casinos. <laughs> I promise you it is. I promise you. But I mean, I had a good time. You know, I was raised by my mother and my grandmother. Um, I had a bunch of friends. I was super popular when I was a kid and stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah, man, just a little bit about me, though. Um, I'm Jess B, y'all. Um, I'm a celebrity <laughs> podcast host. Um, I'm just now accepting that. <laughs> okay, okay. I but, know it'll um, take a little while. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wasn't. I'm still regular. Uh, motivational speaker. <laughs> um, I speak to the school district, uh, to the kids in the school, the Clark County School District here in Nevada. Um, um, I'm a business owner. I own a window cleaning company, graphic design. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a super entrepreneur. I, I kind of do a little Ooh. bit of everything. That's amazing. I absolutely love that. You're a creative. I just want to shout out to Alvin Smith. Thank you so much. And an amazing actor. He was on The Shy. I always nice. love to say that because I love that series. <laughs> and then we have the real Smitty, who's an amazing producer. I, I think, <laughs> like, just, like, crazy. Like, we got some amazing creatives on here. And that's why I, you know, started this because I wanted people to know that despite the external events, we have the power to choose our path. Like, we have the, the power of how we're going to look at how we're dealing with this situation, right? Correct. So I want them to create the life that they want. I want them to believe that it's possible. And I also want them to trust the process, fall in love with it. Yes. Like, just how you say, like, when you fall in love with a, a man, falls in love with a woman or saying whatever, because we have all kinds of different relationships, whatever that is, it's love at the end of the day. And yeah. I want yeah. people to listen to these conversations that we have and take something from it and create their own blueprint. I don't have a blueprint. I don't have like a, not a blueprint, but I don't have like a steps 
step one, two, three, four. Like, I don't have that, right? But I have my story and I have my perseverance and how I got through it. And then I, I share it. And then I yeah. bring on amazing creatives such as the Just Be from the Just Be show, woo, woo. right? <laughs> <laughs> And our on our in our phone screens in our i because I watch you know, I watch Instagram on my iPads so or wherever you may be from we are on your devices. Yes, Shout out to yes. DJ Snap NYC. So how do you continue to learn and and stay on top of things in your role as a celebrity podcast host? Um, it's it's hard to be honest with you. You know, it, it, it's it's it, it takes a lot of focus, and that's one thing I um I lack. <laughs> to just to be vulnerable about it um i lack focus uh you know i'm a real entrepreneur so like i have to have yes whiteboards here notes here doo -doo -doo -doo, things everywhere and i'm constantly uh -huh. like, uh, uh uh then i got a project here project there project back there one brewing over here and and it's 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 really really hard to stay focused but um i'm a constant work in progress so uh, right now, that's what I'm. That's what I'm focused on is staying focused. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of the habits that you're trying to create? Is staying yes. focused? Yes. Yeah, because that, that's be definitely. Habit. Yeah, it definitely needs to be a habit because when you look at other uh, successful people before us, there's always a blueprint that they leave. There's always some drops of nuggets that we can pick up and take along on our journey to make us even better you know i think yeah, that's the point of it like like listen to these conversations and take don't just listen to it like you at church on a sunday morning because I, I never understood that you go to church right and i love it you, you get good music you get entertainment you get a great motivational speaker on the microphone like, yeah <laughs> another day and all is well and they're like all is well everything's good right right but then once you get home and you're dealing with uh living with someone that you just keep holding on to because of other reasons that really don't benefit your well-being or you're living in a lifestyle that you just know that that's not deemed of who you are that's not really reflecting you all these situations that people deal with and they mm -hmm. don't put the forth the action to change it. Nothing yeah. changes if nothing changes, right? Yeah, nothing that's true. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So Literally. you're going to constantly stay unfocused if you don't, if you don't yeah. trust the process and fall in love with the process as you, as you become. But that's the beautiful thing about life too, is that yeah. we're constantly becoming and evolving. Like right now to this point, I thank God for the woman that I am becoming. Yes. Right? I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. Hands down. Hands down. Right? Like, you know. I love it. Like, I'm, I'm in love with the process of becoming. I think if we do that in relationships, love in the process of becoming and building a stronger foundation so that we withhold the storms as yeah. they come. Yeah. Right? You got to be, you got to love got, yourself. We got each other. Yeah, you got to love yourself. And I don't, I don't want nobody who don't, can't fall in love with my purpose. Yo, My, I learned that from I learned that from uh, 10K cards, 10K cards. Ooh, big he shout said, out to 10K. Yeah, when he <laughs> said that, I wrote that down. I said, "Ooh, yeah, I want somebody. I want a partner who can fall in love with my process because you can't be. I, I don't need you to." come in and be take me somewhere else that's not going to yeah, be man. conducive to my purpose. My whole entire show is 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 based around my process. You know, it, it's it. it's it's also based around um this my grandmother surviving breast cancer. Um big shout out to Super Granny Yo. <laughs> Ooh, but, shout out to grandma. You still got your grandma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, she just she just, Ooh, she just beat breast cancer. Yeah. Oh, you um, <laughs> But yeah, that that whole entire me sitting down and being able to—that's the crazy thing. I'm I, even though it, it's hard for me to focus at times. The things that I care about the most, the things that I'm passionate about, the things that are uh, my purpose, the thing I live with—you know—I can focus on those. Yeah. You know, so my show, um, and and, and y'all, it's only been around since May fifteenth of this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. Having my show is like my baby. I don't have any kids. So yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's so you put baby. it in. So you put it into this. 
Yeah, I'm putting it, and that's oh, right. <laughs> I like that. Like... <laughs> I like that. That's so amazing. I put, it, I put it into that, hands down, and um, I give it my all, you know, and, and I am able to focus on that day in and day out, and it's hard work or whatever. That makes me feel good seeing it up there like that. I'm, I, I'm, and you know, I'm proud and you of know how I know that it made you feel good because your whole body language changed. Yeah. I worked, I worked as an EMT for 15 years, so... We would have to, you pay attention to all of that. You pay attention to how the patient is responding to the question that you're asking them. You mm -hmm. pay attention to, you know, their, their hand movements, their eyes, all of those things. So I noticed that I was like, oh, yeah, he's excited. This is his baby. Yeah, wow, that's, this that's is, my baby. This is a seed that you've planted that has grown to be something amazing. Like, yeah. what, what do you hope to impact uh, for your audience? Um... To, you know, to, to be quite honest with you, mm -hmm. um, seeing that right there, it, that I'm, I'm so prideful about it because I wasn't always, I've always been a super like, uh, 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 smile, laugh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> goofy, outgoing <laughs> to other people. But then when yes. I would come home and sit home, sit at home by myself, I was confused. I was lost. I was like a little boy in a dark corner. You know mm. what I mean? So, um, my bad, it threw me off a little bit. <laughs> no, but, that's okay. Yeah, but I, I was, I was, um, I, 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 I lack self love. You know what I mean? But uh, building this and being able to spread it to others, and I always like to mention that for other people that suffer, not being able to love themselves or like depression, anxiety, suicide, and things like that, because those are mm -hmm. the people I want to impact. And, and while doing it, I want to, uh, the whole, the whole um, story behind it is like, yo, just be yourself. That's what just be is. Anything you put out to just be, just be that. You know, just yeah. be that. So I just want people to focus on loving themselves, um, get through any dark times because it's possible. Um, the, the blackness, I do a lot of my stuff with a dark background, but a very vibrant, you know, mm. front. The, the yeah. pictures, the text, the, the logo and everything because that that's like me being born out of that darkness. So Ooh. yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to touch the world and make them, let them know it's okay. Thank goodness for the obstacles, because I think that when we find ourselves at what may appear how we may be perceiving it as rock bottom, right. that's when such amazing platforms such as this is born. And you know, man, I celebrate you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> I you. celebrate you. I I read this earlier and I said, ah. This is really cool. I think that it, it cut off some, but I'm going to try to try to read it from here. Okay. Meet people through other people. A hundred percent of this business is definitely uh, networking. Yes. And then the best and easiest way to meet people is through referrals. Yes. Ooh. Talk about it. Yes. Um, so, I mean, if you guys have anything you're doing, you know, like my show, <laughs> let, let me... My whole life is this show right now. <laughs> um, I, let me just tell you how it works, how it networking really blossoms into, into okay. something amazing. I, yeah. went to uh -huh. Lub I went to Lubbock, Texas back February 14th for uh, like a live, laugh, love, comedy, pop, uh, poetry Ooh, type show I love in, in Lubbock, Texas. Um, I don't uh -huh. do comedy. I think I'm a little funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are that's why i was looking forward to this hour but go on <laughs> right but um i went there and i was the headliner for a show out there um but i was doing poetry i was super nervous to do the poetry and all of that i had a dope poem. you were super excited was, about yeah, it I, I was super excited but i bombed for the it. opportunity <laughs> that's good that you did yeah i bummed it but that I met I met Queen G. I met Shanta okay. Gibson. Shout out, shout out to Shanta Gibson. Yo, shout out to Queen G, sis. She that's my yes. mentor as well. She's so dope. Ooh. But Go ahead. yeah, I met her and she, I, she killed me with that big old smile and I was like, Oh, I like that. I like that. And we chopped it up and from there I met so many amazing people. She sends me people all the time to come on my show. And and she she knows my story and the um the kind of people that I try to touch and stuff like that. So yeah. she always sends like the right kind of person. And it just creates a network of people. And then from that I built relationships with people and more people. 
and more and more and more and more and more. Then it became a big, big spider web. And, and the power in that is just absolutely amazing. Uh, our network of entrepreneurs is, is it's awesome. It's a blessing. <laughs> oh my God. I promise you, I said that on one of our Zoom calls with 10K Cars is that I said, it's like we're just creating like a spider web, an amazing one. Yeah. But we're going, we're going for the kill. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right? Yeah. Which is our purpose. Yeah. <laughs> we're going for it. Like yeah. every single day that I'm blessed to see, I am living on purpose, yes. literally. Yeah. But I had to go through that whole thing of like not loving myself, um, allowing others to tell me which way to go mm-hmm. <laughs> pretty sure, much not man. telling me but in a way yeah. telling me which way to go and who to choose and who not to choose all of those outside influences and then when you start to love yourself you create boundaries and yeah. you don't allow those things to affect you in a way where it will almost as look like you're you're sacrificing what you're supposed to be doing yeah when you're letting those things happen, so Oof, that's good that I'm you. I'm guilty you, of that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that you. That that's good. What have you learned from doing your work since you started in May? What else? Um, uh, that there's so many different kinds of people. <laughs> Don't think you know a person until you talk to them. Uh huh. You know, like that. That's Ooh, that's true. Yeah, that's a good one. That's true. Um, because I mean, you know, I'm I'm guilty of looking at somebody and was like mm, I don't know how good of an episode that would be and then spoke to him had a conversation a genuine heartfelt conversation and learned about him and was like yo that's a dope soul right there that's a dope soul right there so um, don't take you know take things at face value but most importantly read the book you know don't, don't, don't judge a book by its cover as they would say like really read the book I learned that um, patience um, I learned some one. focus. <laughs> That's oh, see, you're because you're on your way. You're yeah. evolving to be master of focus. Yes. yes. And um, <laughs> I, I knew nothing. I knew nothing about the media world. I knew nothing about the entertainment world. Um, I really didn't. All of this motivational speaking a journey started about two years ago, maybe maybe three years. But I no I, I, I didn't. I was just getting my feet wet, and just jumping into it I was like I'm so happy I did I'm a lot of people say that they hate that covet that the pandemic happened I hate that covet 19 happened but I'm blessed that the pandemic happened you know I um, am too. because this was born out of that I and, am too. and and this was like the missing piece that I was looking for to complete the um my mission to complete my mission on loving myself. I, I can genuinely sit here and say, just, I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't do it. Like, I'm in love with myself. Like, I'm like, you did it. Like, I hug myself. Like, oh my God, you did it. You did it. We did it. <laughs> You're killing it. You're killing you it. I'm proud it. of you. You know, I, you know, years ago, I didn't know anything about entertainment either. That was over 10 years ago. I knew nothing about it. And uh, I seen one day I seen Buster Rhymes tweeting this amazing producer. Right. And I am going to drop his name because he you should name the name. We are not here forever. I don't know why people have that perception of like when you drop in people's names that you're trying to get a check or anything like that. No, when I drop people's names, that's because they made a significant um, part in my life that changed my life. Right. And I have to say their name. That's why we say Breonna Taylor's name. That's why, why we say George Floyd's name, because they may, unfortunately, through their death, they have made a significant print mm-hmm. on our life. So when I say this producer's name, it changed my entire life because all he had to do was say yes. Yes changed my life. So when you're on stage and you bomb, it doesn't even matter that you bomb. As long as you learned a lesson from it, and long as you say yes to the opportunity. Some people mm-hmm. may not, they, they get the opportunity and they don't even, they're, they're so scared that they don't even get on the stage. You got on the stage. Mm-hmm. I celebrate you for doing that. That's amazing. Yeah, right? yeah, so yeah. I see, back to the story. So I see Buster Rhymes, he, he's posting a happy birthday to this amazing producer. I didn't know yet who he was, but I said, a Buster Rhymes say he's cool, then he got to be cool. Right. Isn't that crazy how your name, <laughs> like if you say something and your name brings that much influence that someone would never second guess it, I didn't guess it. 
So I followed this, I followed this amazing guy for about six months. I studied him. I took notes. I see that he was, um, you know, very much influenced by his father, who was Bernard Edwards uh, from the group Chic. Good times. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That right? Was so, um, yes, yeah, so I'm like, oh, wow. So I'm taking notes. You got to study. You got to take time to research what it is that you want to get into and what you want to do. It doesn't matter if you don't know nothing about it. You start to study it. Yeah. So I finally reached out and I asked him uh, if he needed some help. You know, I told him that I work with Dave Tolliver. He's been my mentor for the past year. I don't know everybody. I don't know everything. But what I can guarantee is that I'm going to put my heart and soul into this and my work ethic. That's all I can guarantee. I don't know how many people going to come. I don't know how many people going to download. I don't know none of that. Like, right. that's, that's very hard to measure. And he said, okay, come up with the number. And then the next day, uh, that was it. I was working for a uh, five, six time Grammy winning producer Focus uh, from Aftermath Entertainment. Nice. You know, on the phone, like, Dr. J, Day, we believing in you, Slim, because that's what he's calling me. We believing in you. And everything just up and down from here. You know what I mean? I want everything to go up and down. I don't want everything just a straight away because then that means that I no longer exist. But I hope that through my work and, and showing and being on television, I was in audiences first. I used to sit in the audience, okay. right? I used to, yeah, I used to sit in the audience and watch every, the process of getting ready for the show. And then eventually uh, something clicked in my mind and I said, I want to be, I would like to be on the stage. What a cool experience. I'm all about creating experiences. Yeah. And my first show was Dr. Dr. Oz and we talked about insomnia. <laughs> And then when you were talking about it, you was like, ooh, I got that too. I was ooh, like, I, I got it bad. I do as entrepreneurs real bad. And I was like, oh, so if I eat these certain foods, then that'll help. Okay, Dr. Oz. I'm very intentional about everything that I do. Every show that I have done mm -hmm. has, is something personal of a story that I'm sharing along the way. But I'm also being that picture of that little girl from Cleveland, Ohio, and a poverty-stricken you know, a neighborhood also show that little girl and those people back at home that you can do it. Yes. If you yes. want to be a millionaire, you can do it. Yes. <laughs> it's not it's not really that hard. I think the hardest part is actually believing. So yeah, where, I agree. where did that, sh that so you talked about how you got started, but where did the shift where you decided, let me go ahead and start? Um you know uh, my grandmother she 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 been telling me like grandson you should she calls me my real name is Tim she calls okay, me I have it. to say that because okay she calls me Tim Wim <laughs> and um she always used to tell me like boy you talk a lot <laughs> me too like, you I always talk talking. you just running your mouth you should be a talk show host. <laughs> She said it years Ooh. ago, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 okay, maybe one day, whatever. <laughs> Never knew it would really happen. Um, and then, you know, time came on again, and um, while she was fighting her, her in, in the middle of her battle with breast cancer, and she said it again, like, oh, grandson, you should be a talk show host. And that, that just gave me the boost for the simple fact that I, I wanted to make her proud, I want. I wanted her to understand. Like, I see you, I hear you. I may not look like I'm listening all the time, but I uh -huh. hear you. I hear you. And um, to to be 100 percent <laughs> vulnerable about it, it's like I, I just wanted to make her proud one more time be, before she was taken from me because I wasn't yeah. sure. So yeah. when she said it, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should. And I wrote it down in a book. I got the notebook right Ooh, here. I you wrote gotta it down write it book. down. Yeah, and then um. I was supposed to go do a, a, my first paid motivational speaking event in Fiji. In freaking Fiji. In Fiji, that's on my list. In Fiji. So no I was stoked. And then the pandemic mm -hmm. happened and they shut it down indefinitely. Yeah, yeah, so, that they did. Yeah, so at that moment, I was like, ugh, I didn't know what to do. I was like, man. Thank, thank God they, thank God they did. Yeah, thank God. Wow, they did. Fiji. No, yeah. thank God they did. There, yeah. there is a, um, there is a saying that Magic Johnson says, and I, I live by it. For entrepreneurs to always be ready to adapt and adjust. Literally, when you see people running around crazy, 
right now in Lost a damn mind. <laughs> Excuse my <laughs> French, I guess, because I don't really use those words on, on, on the platform. But that's how serious it is, losing their damn mind. Because they didn't, they never prepared. That's the yeah. beautiful thing. I love coming from Cleveland, Ohio. I love um, the way that my grandmother raised, my grandmother raised me, you know, g giving me that unconditional love that I needed. So therefore now, even after her passing, I can still sit up tall and, and strong and say, I can get through this thing and yeah. you can too, right? Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, and yeah, so I adapted and adjusted, and it looks like that's exactly what you did. I that's was, I had events all over the place, and they all got canceled. You know, all got canceled. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I thought this was the biggest year yet, but it still did because we're still here. Man, it Let's turned be out to be great. Grateful for the moment. It turned it's out to be turned... great. Yeah, I, I picked up that notebook, stressed out. You know, <laughs> I was stressed out, but I read it, and it was like I flipped right to that page. Boom! And I was like, you know what? This got to stop being just a, just a thought process, and it got to come to life. And yeah. I took the next couple months and saved up my money and bought everything and built a studio. And then I just did the first episode, like, ah, let's get it. Ah. <laughs> and it's been a blessing and, ever since. And here we are. Yes. And here we are. Yeah. Wow. What do you think one of your biggest assets um, at being a podcast host, other than you love to talk? <laughs> um, I'm very good at communication and, and like you mentioned I'm really good at reading people um, mm -hmm. not for being in the medical field at all <laughs> right that was really, share my yeah, experience yeah, yeah, that, right. that's dope. share yours uh -huh. um, I, I'm really good at, <laughs> I got good at reading police so when I was young I was you know I was a little suave player player okay. right <laughs> okay you was doing your thing <laughs> I was okay. doing my thing and um, I became really really good at, at reading a woman's emotions and I was raised by women, so that's that's all I knew. You know, uh -huh. um, like, all right, I don't want to make granny and mama mad. Let me figure out how they feeling right now. And I got really good at that. And then I learned and I started realizing I was really good at it with not only women, but with everybody. Wow. And, and um, so, yeah, I think that's communi being able to communicate and, and, and read emotions really, really well, I feel like is a, is a big asset. I want to shout out to your grandmother. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I love grandmas. I love grandmas. I absolutely love my grandmothers because uh, they're the wisdom, the knowledge. They have experience. Right. <laughs> Unconditional love when it comes to their grandchildren, for sure. I really, truly believe that. And your grandmother must have made, she, she must have known that you're like really, really strong because my grandmother too, she had breast cancer and I didn't even know it until after the mastectomy was done. Mm -hmm. Somehow she kept on going to the doctor and I'm wondering like, are you all right? And she's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, like I'm just going for my regular whatever, but she was actually going for chemo treatments and she didn't tell me that mm. sparing me the pain that she know how I would have felt. Right. Yeah, ooh, and it's like, wow. Yeah. So when I hear you say like, you knew, I'm like, wow, that's amazing. You got amazing strength. Yeah. Shout out to you for for the strength. What other like personal hurdles that you faced uh, that you didn't think that you would get through, but you got through it? Um, ooh. <laughs> 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 you seeing that change? <laughs> um, uh, you know, and, and it's sad, but a, a lot of uh, a lot of men in the world have, have to deal with um, being uh, the absent father thing. I'm okay. not. I'm not saying that. I'm not blaming it on my father, but the um the act of him not being around, uh, it kind of ruined me as a child, you know. Um, and then I, I was really, really suicidal until I was 33. I'm only 36. Think about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, thank God you're here. Yeah. Oh man. Thank you, Jesus. But yes. <laughs> but um, yeah. So dealing with depression, anxiety, um, being suicidal. Um, my, my dad, my father not being around, you know, and, and uh, let me, I just want to put this out there because this is super important. You know, if you're a father and, and you have a child, don't be in and out. If you ain't going to be there, just stay gone. Just stay gone. But the in and out, the tease, it's like dangling a piece of meat for a dog and they be chasing it, rah, 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 and they can never uh. get to the meat, but they forever run in the race. Yeah. You know, um, that was a super big hurdle. Uh, and, and really, for me, it was just loss. 
loss. Um, mm. Loss was a super big obstacle. I uh, lost my best friend when I was 21. Uh, well, he passed away six days before his 21st birthday. That that was hard for me because he that was just my dude. That was my guy. Um, heartbreaks relationships. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's laugh at that. Like, yeah, you know how it is. It, it, it happens. We all go through it. Uh, literally, literally I, didn't, I didn't have a hard life. I really didn't. I, I didn't have a hard <laughs> life. I, I don't know what a real hard life is. I, I, I haven't experienced that um, as far as, you know, going through poverty and, and being poor and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know those experiences. But um, I was dead inside, you know. I, I was, I was. Emotions was my pain. Like I was mm -hmm. just like, Ugh. so yeah. Mm -hmm. Those were some some huge, huge obstacles for me. But you so know, definitely. the funny thing is, is that you know, we can be uh, financially set, right, yeah. and have those emotions like that. Because for some reason, people have this perception. Uh, not everyone, but some a, a big majority do. Mm -hmm. That if you're successful, if you're on great carpets and you're doing all of these things, then what are you sad about, or what do you have to worry about? If I had what you had and all of that, if I was right. in your shoes, then and it's like no, it's like we really have to be sane with our mind. We really have to like it's it's the most precious resource that we have. It's not our bank accounts at all. Mm -hmm. It's I, I don't ever worry about. Um, any of that <laughs> I don't think I really ever have I was always striving even before entertainment business always striving to be the best that I can be right. that's what we all should be doing every single day what are you afraid of because at the end of the day you are, we all going in at six feet under and it's going to be over <laughs> I just re I, re <laughs> I recently <laughs> lost someone right 46 years old I love her to death. Oh, my God. I was still on here smiling and on the live, but hurting. And I hurt more because I thought about all the dreams that she ne we never got to see realized, us as a people, never get to read her book, never get to see that foundation with the young women that she was going to do. None of that right. because it was always, well, I'm going to do it next week or I'm going to wait until the kids or I'm going to mm -hmm. wait till this. And it's like, what are we waiting on? Because at the end of the day, when I say I'm grateful, I could probably say that 20 times throughout the whole hour because I am. Because yeah. at any time I could be, it could be over. I, we really need to be serious about how we're dealing with our lives. Yeah. We are really going around here like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Where do I go? Waiting on someone else to tell you which way to go. No, you are the leader of your own life. Yes. You are the captain of your ship. You are the producer of the movie that is playing out. Whatever you see, at some point, whether we want to admit it or not, mm -hmm. we have manifest that through our thoughts. Yes. So what are you thinking right now? Is it, is, is it what am I going to eat when this is over? Or is it, let me be intentional with my life and what I'm doing with it each and every day that I'm grateful to see it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's wow. Like, yes. my daughter's father, um, I, I, I am a mom, and my daughter's father was murdered when she was six years old. He was 24. Mm. 24. He was 24 years old. And we can, sit, we can sit here as human beings and having our human connection and say that's just way too soon. But too soon for who? Right. Because I, I think like even when someone is in their 80s and 90s, it was too soon for me. It was too soon. Right. Too soon for who? When we think about what, like we're, we're, we're retweeting, we're reposting, we're liking uh, all of these people that have passed away and we cheer them on. But when we're doing things such as you and I and, and DJ Snap and all these amazing creatives that's on here, we tend to second guess whether we should support. We wait until you die. Our mindset. Right. We got we to gotta change the narrative. And so how do we do that? How do we spark that change and change the world? We change the world by changing ours. You know what there I mean? Ours go. first. There you go. Ours <laughs> first. That's how you change the world. There you go. Yeah. You no, definitely that's gotta, how you, definitely gotta that's change how you the change mindset. It. Yeah, you got to change your mindset. Describe that process into becoming a celebrity podcast host for the Just Be Show. Hmm. The process. 
Oh man! <laughs> As you think, I can share my. I, I'll yeah, share my yeah, story. Yeah, in my yeah, past. yeah. The process of of becoming a celebrity music publicist for me, it was painful. It was confusing. It was what do I do? How do I start? What am I supposed to do with all this money I just made? <laughs> But, I mean, it was all of that because you don't want to, you want to constantly, one thing I learned about watching uh, those who uh, were in my neighborhood that were doing things that weren't legal, I learned so much from it, is that you're constantly reinvesting into your product. And my product is me. So I have yeah. to constantly continue to make sure that I'm investing and planting it into good seeds. So I was thinking about all of that. But then when I let go and let God then it was no longer a fight between mm -hmm. me and that of what I was becoming. It was more of, I'm allowing this to happen. I'm going to learn on the way and I'm okay with those who are there and those who are not. I'm on a journey. Yeah. That was my process. Yeah. Um, it, it was definitely painful in the beginning. It, it was, mm -hmm. it was hard, uh, especially with certain topics that I was doing um, with, with different people. Uh, that was it was very painful it, it was like i i knew when we was about to talk about this it was gonna be a lesson for me as well as the audience <laughs> you know what i mean right. and, and, it, and i was like oh maybe i should ask that question because i don't know if i want to know the answer to that one <laughs> right but, right um, but, but i still went through hmm. it you know i still went through it, Did it? um it, it, it's it's scary it, it 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 was you know it's still scary for me to really go out there, you know, and when everybody started labeling me as a celebrity podcast host, my, my favorite line still now to today is like, yo, I'm regular. I'm just, it's I'm, me. I'm just B, like, I'm just regular. <laughs> but everybody, even people that I've known for years now is like, yo, you know, you're a celebrity podcast host, right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm regular. And they'd be like, bro, Queen G, she's like, bro, no, live in it. What... <laughs> that's what it, it is. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Live in it, learn in it, and grow through it. And I was like, yeah. oh, like you, you right, you right. So I'm slowly but surely coming into it, you know. Um, but it's it, it's definitely a process. It's it's like it's like having a hundred balls in your hand and just throwing it down, and they go everywhere. <laughs> oh, yay! That's, um, that that that's how I feel, but. You can't help but watch it all, like try to watch every last ball, like, oh man, like where is going, you know. So it's definitely exciting. It, it's exciting. Um, it, it's a blessing. And now being able to look at myself in the mirror and like, yo, I'm proud of you, boy. I'm, I'm proud <laughs> of you. That that <laughs> that part of the process is is the best part for me, coming from where I came from. That is so beautiful. She says a grafted underscore to give underscore give <laughs> every level up is so hard yes yeah yeah, yeah. it's beautiful it, though. It ha it's a beautiful process it's, it's definitely a beautiful process i now have to shout out my sponsor here here is here you already know all about this right yeah, yeah. Shout, out <laughs> shout out to 10k cards but he upgraded you yes <laughs> tell me about the upgrade yes man he y'all already know look I'm going to do a whole commercial for him. <laughs> uh, I know, but tell me about the upgrade. We on to choose your path. Yeah, Please. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, the upgrade is dope, y'all. You you can find all of my platforms that I'm on. 10K cards. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, 10K is the, he the man, man. Um, it it has that. my phone number, the Instagram, you know, email. The Twitter, email. Come on, You can go come right on. to the show. If you want to be on the show, um, it has a link to that. Uh, that that was part of the upgrade right there. It has a link. Where you, you see me? I was talking to Anthony Hamilton's son. I'm like, hey, the Just Be Show. Yeah, hey, hey thank you. Beach thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, thank you for I'm that. I'm glad you was on there. Yeah, yeah I'm glad was you was on there. But yeah, like, I mean, it, the yeah, that was but pretty yeah, much my yeah. upgrade right there. 10K cards. Shout out to 10K Yeah, shout cards. out to 10K. That's my sponsor for Choose Your Path. That is amazing. Yeah, this, you got your own QR code. That is so awesome. Yeah, that's Oh, my goodness. Dope. I like this one. I think I'm going to leave that up there for yeah. a little while. Oh. That one hits home. What What do you think the common reason for people giving up? Um, 
the common reason for people giving up. Yeah. A fear. Fear. You know, yeah, they, it, fear. they're they're afraid. That's why a lot of people don't succeed because they're afraid. They're they're afraid that it will work. <laughs> And they won't know how to handle it. <laughs> you know? And that's exactly why they say false evidence appearing real. Yeah. Right? It's evident. It's there. If you can see it, you can actually really, it can come true. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. it's only an illusion if you don't actually, like, make the decision to just do it. Literally. Yeah, that's a nice photo, right? Yeah. yeah. You, you, you awesome can talk photo. about it. You can talk about it all day long. But if you don't get up and create the action. What's the point of talking Ooh. about it? It's wasted breath. What? Ooh, what is it? What yeah. what's next? What's coming up on the horizon for you? Oh man. So I just finished season two of People on the Rise. Um, I'm working on season three. I got some super dope people that's gonna be on there. Hopefully I'm hoping to get a lot of groups playing live on the show. Um, I've been, Ooh, uh, nice. yeah, I've been networking with a lot of producers, uh, studio owners and stuff like that to get in there and see if we can make that happen. Um, I'm dropping a book. I actually wanted to put it out there that, um, I'm not one book, but two books. Uh, I right originally... here on the two show path. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not one book, but two books. Um, what well, the first book, Ooh. the first book is, um, I just want y'all to be on the lookout because it's important and it can really change okay. the world. It can change the mindsets. Uh, the first book I'm going to release is going to be called The Man, Not the Mirror. Um, I, I don't. I, I want you to know me for who I am, not my reflection. That's that's the first book. The second book uh -huh. is called 47 Deaths. That's um, a book around. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I tried to yeah. commit uh, suicide forty-seven times from twelve to thirty-three. It, it's not about suicides, though. It's about being reborn that many times, whether it been physically or mentally. Yeah, and because that, had you did it, we wouldn't be talking. Literally, that brought me to the light, <laughs> the um, light giver that I am now. So I got that coming up. Um, I have a documentary coming up. Y'all be on the lookout for that. that that's wow, gonna be that's dope. exciting. Yeah, that's gonna be super dope. And I'm really just trying to create a movement. You know, I'm, I want Just Be to not only be my name, but to be a whole movement for everybody, yo. Like, Just Be. I don't care what you put after that. You know what I mean? You just know, be that. Really? Just be that. I, want, I just want to create a movement where people are comfortable being in their own skin. I absolutely, wow, I absolutely love that. Um, when I go and talk, well, before COVID, and I would go to the schools and talk to the kids, my title uh, for every time I would talk to the kids is You Are Enough. Yes. I think that is just so important to know that we are enough. I know yes. it's so much coming at us and so much content, and that's the superpower of it is delegating and figuring out what needs your attention and what doesn't. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I want to be like someone was like, Oh, you need to like connect it with the, some page or something. So then we can, and I'm like, no, I only need the audience that is really it, for the intent of their own mind. Good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right. And they're ready. This is not about any of that. I want things to grow and let it allow it to do what it do. Let the season season of harvest come. Yes. When it's time to, to, to reap whatever yes. that you get from numbers. I don't know what that has anything to do with anything. I think that long as we're doing what we're doing, we're living on purpose. That's amazing. I'm in a, I'm in a process. I'm halfway done uh, with another book titled The Mirror You Don't Want to See. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The mirror you wow, don't want to like... see. And you know, the funny thing is, is that I, um, I talked about it at my loved one's funeral mm -hmm. because she inspired that because there were so many things, not just in her life, but a, a lot of our lives that are reflecting back on us that we don't take a look at. We don't want to look at it. So we continue to live the same 2020, 2021, and 2022, right. and, and, and year after year after year, we're living the same life over and over. That's what I think the, the matrix is. It's like, oh, 
I don't open the door, same way. Right. One. I don't open the door, same <laughs> way. Until you decide, right? Until you make the decision that I don't want to. I gotta look now. I gotta I gotta open the mirror and I gotta see what's reflecting back at me and I have to accept it. I gotta love it and I gotta become better because of it. Yeah. That's what we need to do. So we, we I think the universe that, work. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how that's it works. That's crazy. Look how the universe you get, works. You get season two people on the rise. You get the book. The, what? The man. The, love me. The man. Not the mirror. The, the man, man. The man. Not the reflection. N not the reflection. Oh, my God. And 47 deaths. Forget about it. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's. Forget going, about it. Yeah. Whew. Forget <laughs> about it. it it's hard. Worked, it's I hard worked, writing that one. I worked at, I, I bet it was, but it's going to be um, a life game changer for real. They're going to be moving the pieces on the board where they army of uh, soldiers. They don't get taken out yeah. because they're now paying attention to what may be holding them back. I'm sure when you read that, I haven't read it, but that's what I would probably just from speaking to you. That's what I would feel yeah. that they would probably receive from it. Um, were there any other resources that helped you along on this journey? On the podcast journey? Yeah. Um uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm I'm self taught. <laughs> Everything I learned, I learned from the internet. <laughs> um, all of all of my companies. And then, you know, Shante was mentoring me along the way as far as interviewing and stuff like that. Um, but but as far as resources, like I literally learned everything just Googling. YouTube, watching people, studying people like yourself. Oh, oh um, wow, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I check out, you know, a bunch of other people's podcasts and stuff like that. But as far as getting knowledge and stuff like that, trial and error, trial and error and God. You know, I, I was tired of interviews. I was tired of hearing someone say, where are you from? How did you come up with this? Mm -hmm. When will it be out? Who are you having sex with now? Who are you with? All of those things that really don't bring value to people. Right. I mean, if you want to talk about it, if we're joking, because I do bring up like, you know, relationships and stuff like that. Yeah. And I bring up my life. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I always switch it back to um, the people and making sure that I bring in value to the people. So I get tired of hearing that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I hear you will hear me talk about me a little bit. And I want to hear talk about, you know, your path and your journey, because we're having a conversation. I want it to come authentic. I want to, you know, bring the people in and, and show them that there are still real people, even though we're successful. We're real. We're real people. We're human. Um, and we can connect. Yes. You know, through no, maybe my pain is not the same as yours. But at the end of the day, the variable is pain. Yeah. Pain is pain. <laughs> pain is pain. I, you know, I, I hear people saying, oh, well, I, I lost one. But no, I lost two. Like, no, <laughs> I worked as an EMT for 15 years. Oof. So I can't wait to read your book, 47 Deaths. I, I've seen people literally come so close uh, to that. And then somehow I feel like God said no. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I don't care what you, yeah, I don't <laughs> care what you do, what you think it is, but I need you here. Yeah. So I, I definitely, I can't wait to read them both. I, I read a lot of books. I was talking about this and no, this is not a promo run, but this is just how amazing it, how such an inspiration this book was to me. Cornbread, fish, and collard greens. Okay, okay. <laughs> Anthony Hamilton, right? Yeah. When you open this book, it feels like you opened, like someone just, you opened at the door to his soul. No, that's what it that's feels like beautiful. to me, right? So, like, he has the name of these songs of his, uh, some of the, his various songs, right? And then he shares a story like behind the creation of what was going on and what he was feeling at that time when he wrote that song. Yeah. I think that's amazing. And then at the back there, towards the back, it got all these cool recipes, but it's the pictures that get me. Right? Yeah, ooh. It's the pictures that get me. Ooh. And think about it. When we are gone, all of these amazing things that we're creating, we leave behind to, to inspire generations to come. We all, everyone that's on here, we all have something to give, some benefit. You need to really tap into that thing that you love and you just 
can see yourself doing without. And if you if you have to do job in that, do it until it the season of harvest comes. Yes. Right? Is there anything that you would have asked yourself that I didn't ask you? Hmm. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question right there. <laughs> Is there anything I would have asked myself that you didn't ask? This is me? being that you. <laughs> we that's a good being question. That you, um, being that you're a celebrity podcast. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question right there. Because <laughs> this is what you do. So. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a, that's a good question. Um, that's hilarious. What, what could I have asked myself? <laughs> Um, I can't think of anything off the top. Maybe. <laughs> it wasn't because then I feel like question. you gonna ask me. <laughs> um. Oh goodness. Maybe um, <laughs> what what made me happy as a child? Because I talked a lot about what made me sad. Yeah, but you did talk about what made you sad, but everything that you made sad, you turned it into a positive. So I didn't necessarily look at it that way. Got you. <laughs> you did. That's because that's what we do as entrepreneurs. We don't do all of that. Like we we take a problem and we come up with a strategy and we solve it yeah. and we move to the next thing because yeah. that's just life, right? That's just what we do. So that's what I was looking at. I mean, if you would have stayed sad then I would have definitely stepped in and we would have had to, like, change the narrative. Right, I like, always hold like on, the end. hold on. Because even you, we smiling through some crazy stuff we were saying, and that's what you got to do. I smiled through it all. So, yeah. okay? Yeah, all yeah. All right? Yeah, that's probably I, what I would have asked myself. <laughs> so, so what did make you happy? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so no, sure. it's, it's okay to answer that. I knew it was coming. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? Being popular. Oh, okay. Like, like when I was in the act of being popular, you see what I'm saying? At home, I'd be like, "Oh my god!" But in the streets and stuff, and out and mingling and stuff, um, having a lot of attention. Um, mm. but but it was it was it was it was a cockiness about it back then, because I still have a lot of attention, but it's a different kind of attention. Yeah, you know, it back then it was all about. It was all about me, 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 but not in a not in a self love kind of way. It was like, yeah, I'm the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah check me out. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> you know. And then now that I have a lot of attention, it's because I'm, I'm, I have a lot of attention from my viewers because they know I'm going to bring guests, great guests onto the show, and we're going to talk about amazing things. So me providing value to people, yes, is the positive attention that I get now. And and that is so much better. <laughs> I'm telling you, anybody that does something, they better be doing it for the people. Or if you're not, I mean, shame on you. Yes. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that, because I can talk about that for a whole nother hour. If you're not value to people. Oh, we got a question. Let's see if I can get. What was that Eureka moment? that made you aware of your past oh you're gonna have to watch that in the beginning mr mm. <laughs> stereo you must have came late because we talked about <laughs> yeah yeah we talked about that already that was definitely in the beginning oh my goodness shout out see we brought all the cool all the cool creative people stereo and uh dc underscore the executive bots world studio shout out to all of you guys thank you and i'm just gonna also you know at the end i got a shout out to my sponsor 10k cards for this an amazing digital business card where you can literally scan the code and then all of the information come on to your digital uh, device right oh goodness amazing so we're at the end of the show. Ah. I always like to ask if you could give us a word or a sentence that help us carry along as we continue on our journey. Thank you. Hmm. Be your peace. Be your be, peace. Be your peace. Be your own peace. You know. Nice. Um, yeah. Be be your peace. You 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 can find you can find peace in the world. And if you you better look good too, because it's hard to find it <laughs> within <laughs> but it's the there. world. But mm -hmm. if you can be your own peace, then you'll be peaceful. 
you know oh, um, i love it yeah and and that that's my word that that be, is be your, your word peace. that's your word I'm okay be that's your, your, be your word. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much just be from the just be show you guys go and follow him i think you're absolutely amazing thank you so much thank for you. taking time to come on to choose your path thank you everyone who made donations to sharon tell i promise you it was going on good grounds good good ground thank you shout out to 10k cards have an amazing evening love light and energy to you and your family Peace. Peace. Love y'all. <laughs> <laughs>